Welcome back, guys! Today we'll dive deeper into working with branches and commits. We start from the beginning. Totally new project. I create empty directory. Running git status won't show anything yet, because we haven't initialized the project. First, I'll make a simple change by writing hello to the readme.txt file. This file will be created automatically with the command. Just remember echo this command write hello to the readme.txt file. Next, the git init command initializes the project, creating a hidden git folder. Now git will start tracking our changes. To confirm it, run ls-a to display both hidden and regular files. You'll see the git folder and the readme.txt file. Running git status now shows our changes that need to be added and committed. Let's handle this. In Visual Studio Code, there is an extension called Git Graph, which provides a convenient graphical interface for viewing commit history. To install it, open the extensions panel in VS Code, search for git graph and install it. It visually maps branches, changes, merges and more. Once installed, you'll notice a git graph icon at the bottom panel. Clicking it displays the current state of the project. Here we see we are on the main branch, the default branch. The initial commit labeled init project. Clicking the commit allows us to view all the files changed in that commit. For instance, clicking readme.txt shows exactly what was added. Now I'm going to create branches using multiple methods. First method run the command git branch feature1 to create a new branch named feature1. Then using the command git checkout feature1 we switch to it. Check the git graph to see that we are now in the feature 1 branch. In this branch, I write the line new project in the txt file. Here it is. Then add these changes and commit them. Let's make another one. I write the third line into txt file and this line will be commit to. After making another commit, we'll see both commits on the feature 1 branch in the git graph. Now I'm going to create another one branch, but for this I'm going to use another command. With the command git checkout main, I switch to the main branch. So right now we are in the main branch. Just to remember, here we don't have these previous two commits. I use the command git checkout minus b and then name of my second branch, feature2. This creates and switches to a new branch simultaneously. In the feature2 branch, I will create a new Python file app.py and add a simple print hello world function. You can create any file and write something into it. It's up to you. Git status shows the file that we need add and commit. After staging and committing this, we will see the first commit for feature 2 in the git graph. So for now we have three branches, main, feature 1 and feature 2. Main has just one commit in it project. Since we branched off from main, the new branch feature 1 starts from the same initial commit of main in it project and includes two additional commits that we just made in feature 1, commit 1 and commit 2. The same with the branch feature 2. This branch has the initial commit init project 
and the commit that we just made. Commit 1, feature 2. 